Our attention to politics now. Vice President Kamala Harris called on Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to accept a three-part ceasefire deal. This comes as President Biden hosted families of Hamas held hostages for discussions with the Israeli Prime Minister at the White House. NBC's Bree Jackson has the latest from Washington. Welcome back, Mr. Prime Minister. We've got a lot to talk about. President Biden and Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu meeting just days after the president ended his re-election bid. I want to thank you for uh, 50 years of public service and 50 years of support for the state of Israel. President Biden pressing for Israel to reach a ceasefire deal, a push echoed by Vice President Kamala Harris. The frontrunner for the Democrats' presidential nomination met separately with the prime minister. Israel has a right to defend itself, and how it does so matters. I also expressed with the Prime Minister my serious concern about the scale of human suffering in Gaza, including the death of far too many innocent civilians. Pro-Palestinian demonstrations continue. Protesters say Netanyahu has blood on his hands for Israel's actions in Gaza. The White House says it's time to end the violence and bring the remaining hostages home. President Biden made it very clear to Prime Minister Netanyahu that now's the time. Uh, we uh, were close enough. The gaps are narrow enough uh, that with some compromise and some leadership, uh, we should be able to get this hostage deal in place. Families of those held captive by Hamas urge Netanyahu to act quickly. Our entire region has a surplus of pain and agony and it is quite clear to every single party involved in these negotiations that the time has come for this to end. A ceasefire deal hangs in the balance as high stakes talks with Netanyahu continue. Today, Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu will meet with former President Trump in Florida at Mr. Trump's Mar-a-Lago estate. In Washington, Bree Jackson, NBC News.